So guys, welcome back. It's your boy again. Yeah, I'm Sling. How you guys doing? Welcome to another video. Please try as much as possible to assist your boy. Like this video, comment, share it to all social platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And I'm Sling. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime, any day. I upload and be a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. And this is my second video for the day. Let's talk about Rosie, the woman who allegedly stole Toto DK s husband from her and be why she posted a picture yesterday of a chicken that is well disfigured <laughs> and she wrote and she wrote i am ready to settle down guess be like i am ready to settle down her who you remain this for i mean apparently this chicken represent a girl who are uh, uh because all who are uh, punani has been roughly destroyed by numerous guys that is apparently the the whole meaning of the chicken but a lot of women were not happy about what she posted and uh they came for her they try as much as possible to make sure she fully felt the heat they were blasting her calling her ridiculous names and uh, meanwhile, she has one, two, one or two things to say as a response to those people who were calling her out for posting that particular picture. So let us play it then. I will have my own response as well. Yo, if you're upset about my previous post, that's your problem. I wasn't talking to anyone, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I mean, talking about women are the ones destroying other women. Am I the one that destroyed your place? You have scattered everywhere talking about you're ready to settle down. Bruh, if you're feeling guilty about the post and you think it's you, package the place. Settle down with who? All of you guys come in typing women are this, women are that, you're a woman typing this, posting this. Yo, all of you are a bunch of hypocrites. Uh-huh bunch of hypocrites i wasn't talking to you but if you feel like it's you if the shoe fits like i said wear it <laughs> if you like insult me till the kingdom come i don't care but uh she said i deleted the post because i see some of you are upset that i post your open holes on my page guilty people go and package and follow me your pain people everywhere well guys uh for those of you who are paying for ladies i'm not the one talking about uh, see i'm just trying to elaborate what she posted but uh does that actually represent your uh, your your punani is there any girl here that thinks like that chicken that was widely disfigured actually represents your punani? Can you kindly leave your comment below? Or why do you think women are particularly hungry with this particular post? A chicken and a girl's head. And obviously what she wrote was uh, attacking women who have obviously when they're sleeping with all numerous guys sleeping around anyhow at the end of the day they say they want to settle down and be why what is there for your husband to enjoy you have scattered it everywhere you have shared it everywhere so now you say you want to settle down settle down with who with who who do you want to settle down with <laughs> it's quite laughable though it's quite laughable and meanwhile let's talk about chloe a former baby ninja housemate and uh, she's how they're tapping the blessing she wants to settle down as well and of course she shared the flyer and she said this may seem the way out and the flyer said praying for marital uh it just a prayer that involves marital blessings big breakthrough all the way in 2021 and she actually shared the flyer and be like okay i want to settle down so it's good for her though a lot of women want to settle down out there but uh the advice is that make sure you package that place package that place very very well i've seen a lot of girls now will be like they don't even allow you to hold their boobs any longer because the first thing they want to say is ah you want you want me them for you want me them for or they won't even allow you to enjoy that maximum sexual pleasure with them because they'll be like ah ah sorry now you want to put everything inside yes it's experience though so can you leave your comment below and uh, let's have a discussion with that and here nigeria man said my wife who is due for u.s sponsor visa challenged my authority for the umpteen times yesterday why she's still living in nigeria 
I just added two more years to our application. I can't take an intransigent woman to US to turn around and make my life a living hell. I feel your pain. Well, obviously, the man based in USA delayed his wife visa for challenging his authority because she doesn't want to bring a woman that will start making his life miserable like what we are saying about Nigeria some few Nigerian women who will go abroad and drive their own husband out of their house that they bought with their own money they are well they are sweat and they are bring them to back to square one well uh, it seems like sorry guys for those of you are in Nigeria you know a lot of people have spoiled your name you know this is what I say about Nigeria people whenever they get an, an opportunity they don't leave they don't show good examples so that uh, people will start being like okay you know Nigeria girls are actually good it's time for us to like, like to let us settle down with Nigeria girls in fact even our own Nigeria babes they are usually going abroad they are kind of like showing these white people lessons in fact some white people nowadays don't even want to go after Nigeria girls because they now understand that some of them use buju magic some of them can marry up to three white men at the same time. The white men don't even know. They will start sending the white men pictures back home to do some kind of buju and all those things. But people are becoming wise though. And uh, unfortunately, in the next five years, ten years, majority of Nigeria girls will start losing opportunity because of those bad eggs who have spoiled the name. Like people keep saying, what is wrong with those black girls over there? I myself, if I travel hard today, if I travel out today to stay abroad and to establish there, see, no, I'm not coming back home to marry any goddamn Nigerian woman I bring in there. Lie, lie, ye, no be me. I will stay there and marry, whether it be it white or black. Or if I find any Nigerian girl there who has, who already have her own stay and everything comfortable, comfortable with her we continue our life there so all those who are coming back home to marry these are things of the past and uh they, they shall all become past totally uh, uh, a writer spoke well about love he said see when it comes to marriage leave love by the door first where patient compatibility tolerance and communication will hold the fault for you love won't not saying love isn't needed, but it is not enough. There is no manual to this age. Just find who compliments you. For better understanding, number one, said love doesn't encompass all these. Do you love someone you are just meeting? Won't you look hard for the qualities listed before you actually start loving them? I said, when thinking of marriage, not when you are in it is different so he said love is not enough well honestly i think obviously when when you see someone you're going to have some kind of level of likeness for that person then love start developing so when the love develop i think love is enough to me love is enough because if you love something you will respect that thing you will cherish that thing you will make sure you don't hurt that thing so I think love is enough for me. Love is enough, guys. Look, it's just that we misinterpret love nowadays. That's why we don't see like love is enough. We misinterpret love. Love is the beginning of all things. Love is God. If you love God, you're going to respect God. But obviously, we say, oh, we love God, but yes, we do not respect Him. Because we have misinterpreted the full meaning of love love encourages love understands love love is everything so love is the general word for anything in this whole world so it's just that we do not understand love that is just it so i think we can only call it likeness we just like our women nowadays we do not say we love if you actually love somebody uh you won't disrespect that thing you won't want to hurt that thing you would like to understand that thing. You would like to do so much for that thing. You would like to do whatever it takes to get that thing. 
but unfortunately we are we are misunderstanding the full meaning of love and uh, check out this video horrible video by the way uh a fire tanker they say at least 70 people hospitalized after a petrol tanker explode in Kano. We have seen similar issues before, similar scenes in the social media. I, and, it, and it baffled me. A petrol tanker that fell, people are trying to quench it, bring it water. Then a lot of people just surrounded the thing to see what was crying out loud. Should I start sympathizing with those people who were involved in this? Maybe uh, they were they suffer some degree of some certain degree of bonds. Should I start sympathizing with them? What were you doing close to a petrol tanker that was already on fire and people were trying to quench? I would sympathize with those people who were trying to make sure they they, they neutralize that fire. I would sympathize with them, but if you are around there just to start watching, sorry, I do not sympathize with you at all. We are so fond of going and check, checking exactly what happened. It's good to check, but there are some people, they, after the check, they start bringing their phone. Come on, man. We have to be wiser than that. And uh, check out this, uh, this video of a guy, two guys fighting. And according to the person who posted this video, Apparently, <laughs> apparently, they saw, uh, the one in the yellow shirt slept with the one, the, the one's uh, girlfriend who got a beating upon in uh, Abiyokuta, Ogo State. The one in the yellow shirt slept with the other one, other one's girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> well, it's quite unfortunate though. If you have a girlfriend who is who, who who in one time slept with your friend, sorry, it's no longer your girlfriend. You are deceiving yourself. If my girlfriend, if I have a girlfriend who, who sleeps with any guy I know and in, she knows very well I know that guy, or anybody at all, see that guy will say thank you God for showing me. That's all I'm just gonna say. I'm not gonna get mad at her. I'm not going to be this. I will be disappointed, but in just a few times. And I will, since she wants to be sleeping with my, no, wahala, me, I won't even talk. I won't even act like no, because I will also still be enjoying the punani. While I go, I will still be looking for a very nice guy out there. Meanwhile, I'll just be deceiving you. Since you want to deceive me, we we'll both be deceiving ourselves. I don't know why guys or girls are fighting over a guy or guys fighting over a girl. Man, come on. A girl who want to be, who want to spoil with spoil. A guy who want to be a flirt will be a flirt until he had enough. So that's how it is. And uh, the next one I want to talk about is a man who miraculously survived a accident. This guy, according to it, is a man miraculously walk away alive after his car ran under a truck in Abuja. And he said, thanks everyone, I am okay and doing well. I walked away with a smile and a mosquito size crash. Don't mess with my God, please. Now I beg, I beg you. Well, the guy was seriously laughing and thank God, nothing actually happened to him. Wow. There are some acid that would be like, man, you actually survived this. This car ran on diet ran on diet and yet he miraculously survived kai god is great god is great god is seriously great and uh, unfortunately here's another one someone who was not that was not so lucky as this guy who survived this uh, accident and uh, apparently they say former senate president don't chuba Son Pharaoh died in accident after his car ran under a trailer. The same incident, and that uh, this man didn't survive. And that uh, the accident occurred late on Saturday, May 22, in Abuja, almost the same day with that guy, and uh, he didn't survive. And it's not, and his horn is not as severe as that guy, but he didn't survive. May his uh, gentle soul rest in paradise. I mean, and uh, check out this video of Regina Daniel who was being uh, 
interviewed by Kemi Oluloyo. And some fans raised some concern with the way that she was looking smiley. Obviously, she is very, very happy because she recently launched her own fashion line. The way she was looking and smiling, yes, yeah, she's happy, but fans are so worried. They think that she's getting too thin, like she's on a diet, I think. But the thing that she is getting a little bit too thin, like she's not that healthy looking. Well, it's her body. That's exactly how she wants it to be. If she wants to be a boga fish, good for her. It's her body. And meanwhile, I think that the Woku actually loves those kind of women as well. So, uh, I don't see. But, we see. Typical Nigerian men eh, want it thick. They want it thick but obviously it's her body and she's not doing it for any nigeria guy and i was quite even surprised that kemi Oluloyo was the one interviewing regina dani like over the years you can see exactly what kemi Oluloyo was writing about regina dani during that time of when she wanted to get married to nedi woko kemi Oluloyo was not that supportive but unfortunately it seems like they have crushed their own uh differences and the Kemi Oluloyo is currently in Abuja and uh, she interviewed her good and fine guys and uh, meanwhile check out when this video check out this video no sorry the uh wedding pictures of two couples and uh, the reason why these particular pictures are going viral is because of the groom the groom wasn't like it seems like he came to his wedding unknowingly maybe he never knew that he was marrying so he just came there to find out that his family members may have arranged marriage for him because he was very short and t-shirt i was not he was acting so surprised i mean why the bride was fully dressed and the guy would be like ah, is this actually my wedding did they just arrange a wedding for me and i'm not even aware of it i think that's exactly what is happening so the pictures are currently trending so i decided to share it with you guys so meanwhile guys thank you very much for watching support so adam's link don't forget to like this video comment share it on social media platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam's link and make sure you subscribe and then click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload so have a wonderful day and stay blessed thank you